There are two paths for planning approval in the ACT. The first one is development approval, also known as a DA. Projects require DA or a development approval that is submitted to the planning department because they haven't met every single rule in the single dwelling housing development code. So a rule that might not be met as an example is a setback. Let's say there's a setback on a particular boundary that should be three metres and in this particular development with the owner or the, it, need, it needs to be two metres. So in other words, it's built within that setback, so it's not exempt. Um, in that case, it needs to an application needs to be submitted for a development approval uh, through the government. The other option for planning approvals is a building approval. Building approval or a BA is managed directly via a private building certifier. The owner appoints the private building certifier to manage the plans and documents for the project. A project can go directly to a BA and avoid a DA if all those rules are met or it's known as an exempt development. So in other words, it's built outside all the setbacks and meets all the other rules in the territory plan. Therefore, it can be built as a building approval.